Tottenham Hotspurs 1, Manchester United 3. I am joined with Andy Tate. That was a bit all right, wasn't it? Yeah, we faced up to it, didn't we? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> you all right? Yeah, it seemed, yeah, it yeah. I'm a little that. bit... It seemed painful, Yeah, that. it's painful, that, yeah. <laughs> if someone's to know what it's like, come down Salford, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's not... A, what was going on with that? Let's Let's... We'll talk about how good United were, but let's start with the farce that was that disallowed goal. How mad was that to start with the day? VAR, referees, no, referee bottled it. Yeah. Yeah, re truly bottled it. And VAR, they just sweep it. There'll be a rule tomorrow, or, or next, they'll just release a statement. And it's just the way that the game is finished. It, it just seems finished. Pardon me, I've got sore throat. <laughs> no worries. Got sore throat from shouting. And and the abuse. Yeah, no good. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the, the game is done. If the referees can't control what they're seeing, the re referee overrules VAR. So be, the, the, fact, the people in the VAR control room, it's a, it's a pathetic, pathetic overturn. We should have been 1-0 up. We should have been. We played some... Because it was a fantastic goal as well. Forget forget that bit of it. The, the pass from Paul Pogba to Cavani, a fantastic goal. And Cavani, I felt, needed a goal as well which we'll come to later, which we eventually does. But then it was always set for them to... It felt like... Yeah, and he scores two minutes he later. He scores two minutes later. It See, it's a bit of a... It's like a kick proper, in the teeth, proper, proper kick, kick in the teeth. Yeah, and like Lindelof, uh, he lost the ball, like, yeah, went yeah. under him. And it was a good goal to, 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 to for them. Yeah. But uh, Spurs are pathetic and average, and that's <laughs> where they are. And they got to help him in the Carabao Cup final. I know, that's... It was one of them. So you look at it, we went 1-0 down. Were you worried that we weren't going to get back into it or did you have a bit of confidence that United... I think made? it was going to be all right. Yeah. I think it was going to be all right because I think that, that, that just galvanised the troops. Yeah. And if you could, if, if Lutz could kill, you saw Solskjaer's face. Yeah, yeah. Thunder. Thunder yeah. face. Yeah. Really angry. Yeah. But the players used it for themselves yeah. as motivation. He probably said that in his halftime team talk. He just keep playing it as this. This this Spurs side is pathetic. <laughs> it's It's... it's like, there's nothing in him. There's yeah. nothing in him. Roy Keane said before the game, I was talking to Jamie Radnep and said they're a soft team, Spurs, and they still are, and they have been. Well, he said they have been for 40 years. But did you feel that? And not just that. Were you as surprised as I was when Fred manages to play some of the best football we've seen in the last few weeks to score that opening goal? That was... That I mean, I've been very right? critical, and it's been justified. Been completely justified, yeah. Because uh, the Leicester performance... And I think he's a Solskjaer favourite, which is that's the manager's yeah, choice. Yeah. But he played well today and he's got his goal and it'll give him a bit, bit of breathing space and might give him a bit of confidence. Do you think that that kind of shows a little bit of why Solskjaer has put a bit of faith? Maybe he does this a little bit more often in training and maybe he just on, in matches does that because it was a quality. The, the football leading up to that was was fantastic football. You know, the link up between himself, yeah, Marcus, Pogba. It was flowing, it was nice and neat, one touch football. Yeah. And it was it was justified, and it shows how capable Fred is at doing these things as well. It shows that he can do it. It's just it's a, maybe it's a confidence. Oh, maybe thing. it's, a confidence. it's a confidence thing. I mean, players, he's, he's got to start stepping up now. Yeah. If they, if they use it to step up, yeah. Some players have not stepped up last few weeks, last few games. It's been pretty much it's predictable. United. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we've gone behind, we come back again. All right, but. Like I say, we've only bossed three games this season, but if it's part of our DNA to come back, we know it is. And it's yep. good, it's good. But it's good. It's, I want to see more from the players, bar Ra Rashford and Bruno. It's not fair on them. No, no. And today, there was a little bit more. When we it got was. we got Pogba, Fred, they all played well. They all thrived in it. Yep. And the Injustice fired them up for it. Yep. Mark Rashford going off injured or getting rested or whatever it is, it looks like that's going to be him for the rest of the season. 70 minutes, come on, Marcus, you're done. Mason Greenwood comes on, little nutmeg from Bruno Fernandes, and then a quality ball into Edison Cavani. What did you make of Edison Cavani today? I thought it was a very, very good performance from him. I thought it was very quiet the first 35, 40 minutes. Yeah. Well, first 30 minutes, yeah. he was losing passes because Joel yeah. mentioned it on a watch along, um, but he sort of like woke up and when he scored and he got disallowed, I think that sort of it fired him up yeah, and yeah. it fired everybody up. Yeah. So he played well today and um, if you're going to go w in the summer, just play and score for, for the rest of the season. Play your part. Everyone working, working hard together. Yep. You know you, you know, there's a team unity there. 
but it, it needs a little bit more confidence and hopefully today will galvanise us. Yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> my throat's gone. I'm sorry, <laughs> my throat's completely gone. Completely gone. We'll Com- keep this nice and short then. We'll just talk a little bit about Mason Greenwood. Happy to see him get a goal at the end of today and obviously get the assist for the first goal. It's good to see him back with a little bit of form, isn't it? Because it he's is, been, he's been lacking a little bit. And uh, the lad needed a goal and I'm, yeah. I'm just happy for Mason. And we've got, um, he's got Granada next on Thursday and <laughs> and, we've got, we're, and, and we've got next Sunday with Burnley and I'm not getting giddy I'm just having a laugh 21 is on 21 is on 21 is on if, it, if we win next Sunday against Burnley you 8 points it. behind 2012 you know what let's have let's have a bit of a laugh and a giggle because if City loses the next two big matches you don't know what it does for confidence even though they're in control it's their destiny so let's enjoy War Games there it is. Andy Tate said it. 21 is on. Cheers very much, Andy. We will see you on the next one. Laters.